is no Boucher without Rubens. There is no Delacroix, Jericho. At least my guy, though, gets a, a, a beard named after him. That's true. <laughs> We today have a rare opportunity to have a kind of face-off between the two great figures of the 17th century, the painters Sir Peter Paul Rubens and Sir Anthony Van Dyke. Never have I ever been so ready, willing, and able to advocate <laughs> for the great Sir Peter Paul Rubens, one of the towering figures of the entire Western canon. What I love about this picture is its informality. Rubens is able to give paintings life and to give them energy and spontaneity and warmth and violence all of the things that really embody the baroque which is what rubens invented in the north and dyke is one of the great painters of all time he was like mozart a prodigy as a young man i think he probably upset our friend rubens when he was in his studio for being a teenager and to paint almost as well as rubens what I love about this picture by Van Dyck is it exemplifies the kind of self-confidence of an artist. He's showing to the world how important and how capable and how equal he is to any of his sitters. Let's talk a little bit about technique. Chris, have you ever heard of the phrase Rubenesque? <laughs> Rubenesque is a term, a phrase that we often use when looking at Rubens' paintings to indicate fleshiness. The phrase is often used with images of his women being voluptuous. Rubens is a master of flesh, his ability to show skin, blood, the human form. And all of that is exemplified in this work where you have the artist himself looking ruddy and red in the cheeks with tasseled hair. The way he applies paint here is fluid. It's loose. He's spontaneous. He's not, as he does in later works, taking on layers and layers of oil paint. He carefully chooses his moments to layer on thicker oil paint in the hair, in his forehead, in his cheeks. It is emblematic of an artist who knows exactly what he's doing. David, of course, I've heard of Rubensian voluptuousness. At least my guy, though, gets a, a, a beard named after him. That's true. Van Dyck is, of course, as we know, even from his earliest years, capable of incredible technical mastery. He, with Diego Velasquez, I would say, basically create a kind of formal portraiture that's so important for the next 200 years. This picture, though, is a kind of summation of his work. There's an elegance, a softness about it, a subtle application of paint, the way the light passes through hair and catches the side of his eye. I always think of Rubens as much more tied to the classical tradition to Michelangelo as well, where certainly Van Dyck's synthesizing all of those things, but he's creating something different. And really, in later generations, especially in England, it's Van Dyck that painters like Reynolds and Gainsborough are looking exactly. to, aren't they? Exactly. That's my argument to make, though, David, not yours. <laughs> well, Chris, we have the men here before us, but why are they famous? Well, speaking for Van Dyck, I think we have to first look at the great pictures of Charles I. They're emblematic of the king and his reign. The great horseback pictures, of course, the three angled, port -angled head yep. that he did, Amazing. painted for Bernini, which is kind of a picture out of time. It's, you know, three different angles at the same time. The great portrait of Wilton, still in situ, of numerous figures. But the things that I also very much love in this artist's work are the mythological and religious works like the great Ronaldo and Armida at the Baltimore Museum, and the kind of more intimate and touching religious works like the Christ, the Echeomo, in, in the museum in Birmingham in England, and has a kind of softness and a contemplation that you don't always see in other Baroque paintings uh, of that subject at that time. If you think about pictures from around this moment, 1610, Rubens has just come back from Italy. He's creating a new language in Central Europe. He is quite literally inventing the Baroque. And I think the three pictures that come to mind from around this moment, first, of course, the raising of the cross in Antwerp Cathedral, a towering, humongous triptych that is perhaps Rubens' most famous picture. Then I would say the great large Samson and Delilah in the National Gallery in London, a work of amazing Venetian color filled with muscle and figures, which was a new language and how to show the human form. 
and of course, the towering Massacre of the Innocents that saw the beast sold only a few years ago for a world record price, which is an explosion of violence and figures that totally encapsulates what Rubens was creating at this time. One of the rare artists that continues to produce great works until the end of his career. What are the legacies of these two great towering figures? With Van Dyck, I think we have a clear bloodline from his day to the present on portraiture. That's extremely clear, particularly in, in British art, where there's no figure until the 18th century even close. Like Gainsborough's painting of the Blue Boy, it's a direct competition in a way. People like John Singer Sargent are still using the same modes of creating portraiture. And just the sheer beauty, the fabric, etc. these are things which, even to this day, a good portraitist knows how to use these clues, these tricks, these innovations of Van Dyck. Well, Rubens' legacy was immediate and continues to the present day. There is no Boucher without Rubens. There is no Delacroix, Jericho, even artists like today, Cecily Brown. Legions of artists have looked to Rubens for his inventiveness in flesh, form, composition, and color. He is one of the few artists in the history of art who have had the impact for generations from the day he painted until today. Yeah, so I think we're not gonna move the needle here one way or the other. We're not gonna make a decision who's a better. And I'm fine with that. Let's hope someday we get another chance to talk about Rubens and Van Dyck and maybe we can make the decision, who knows.
is no Boucher without Rubens. There is no Delacroix, Jericho. At least my guy, though, gets a, a, a beard named after him. That's true. We today have a rare opportunity to have a kind of face-off between the two great figures of the 17th century, the painters Sir Peter Paul Rubens and Sir Anthony Van Dyke. Never have I ever been so ready, willing, and able to advocate <laughs> for the great Sir Peter Paul Rubens, one of the towering figures of the entire Western canon. What I love about this picture is its informality. Rubens is able to give paintings life and to give them energy and spontaneity and warmth and violence all of the things that really embody the baroque which is what rubens invented in the north and dyke is one of the great painters of all time he was like mozart a prodigy as a young man i think he probably upset our friend rubens when he was in his studio for being a teenager and to paint almost as well as rubens what I love about this picture by Van Dyck is it exemplifies the kind of self-confidence of an artist. He's showing to the world how important and how capable and how equal he is to any of his sitters. Let's talk a little bit about technique. Chris, have you ever heard of the phrase Rubenesque? <laughs> Rubenesque is a term, a phrase that we often use when looking at Rubens' paintings to indicate fleshiness. The phrase is often used with images of his women being voluptuous. Rubens is a master of flesh. His ability to show skin, blood, the human form. And all of that is exemplified in this work where you have the artist himself looking ruddy and red in the cheeks with tasseled hair. The way he applies paint here is fluid. It's loose. He's spontaneous. He's not, as he does in later works, taking on layers and layers of oil paint. He carefully chooses his moments to layer on thicker oil paint in the hair, in his forehead, in his cheeks. It is emblematic of an artist who knows exactly what he's doing. David, of course, I've heard of Rubensian voluptuousness. At least my guy, though, gets a, a, a beard named after him. That's true. Van Dyck is, of course, as we know, even from his earliest years, capable of incredible technical mastery. He, with Diego Velasquez, I would say, basically create a kind of formal portraiture that's so important for the next 200 years. This picture, though, is a kind of summation of his work. There's an elegance, a softness about it, a subtle application of paint, the way the light passes through hair and catches the side of his eye. I always think of Rubens as much more tied to the classical tradition to Michelangelo as well, where certainly Van Dyck's synthesizing all of those things, but he's creating something different. And really, in later generations, especially in England, it's Van Dyck that painters like Reynolds and Gainsborough are looking exactly. to, aren't they? Exactly. That's my argument to make, though, David, not yours. <laughs> well, Chris, we have the men here before us, but why are they famous? Well, speaking for Van Dyck, I think we have to first look at the great pictures of Charles I. They're emblematic of the king and his reign. The great horseback pictures, of course, the three angled, -angled head yep. that he did, Amazing. painted for Bernini, which is kind of a picture out of time. It's, you know, three different angles at the same time. The great portrait of Wilton, still in situ, the numerous figures. But the things that I also very much love in this artist's work are the mythological and religious works like the great Ronaldo and Armida at the Baltimore Museum, and the kind of more intimate and touching religious works like the Christ, the Ecce Homo, in, in the museum in Birmingham in England, and has a kind of softness and a contemplation that you don't always see in other Baroque paintings uh, of that subject at that time. If you think about pictures from around this moment, 1610, Rubens has just come back from Italy. He's creating a new language in Central Europe. He is quite literally inventing the Baroque. And I think the three pictures that come to mind from around this moment, first, of course, the raising of the cross in Antwerp Cathedral, a towering, humongous triptych that is perhaps Rubens' most famous picture. Then I would say the great large Samson and Delilah in the National Gallery in London, a work of amazing Venetian color filled with muscle and figures, which was a new language and how to show the human form. 
And of course, the towering Massacre of the Innocents that Sotheby's sold only a few years ago for a world record price, which is an explosion of violence and figures that totally encapsulates what Rubens was creating at this time. One of the rare artists that continues to produce great works until the end of his career. What are the legacies of these two great towering figures? With Van Dyck, I think we have a clear bloodline from his day to the present on portraiture. That's extremely clear, particularly in, in British art, where there's no figure until the 18th century even close. Like Gainsborough's painting of the Blue Boy, it's a direct competition in a way. People like John Singer Sargent are still using the same modes of creating portraiture. And just the sheer beauty, the fabric, etc. these are things which even to this day, a good portraitist knows how to use these clues, these tricks, these innovations of Van Dyck. Well, Rubens' legacy was immediate and continues to the present day. There is no Boucher without Rubens. There is no Delacroix, Jericho, even artists like today, Cecily Brown. Legions of artists have looked to Rubens for his inventiveness in flesh, form, composition, and color. He is one of the few artists in the history of art who have had the impact for generations from the day he painted until today. Yeah, so I think we're not gonna move the needle here one way or the other. We're not gonna make a decision who's a better. And I'm fine with that. Let's hope someday we get another chance to talk about Rubens and Van Dyck and maybe we can make the decision, who knows.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sotheby's. My name is David Pollock, and I will be your hopefully friendly auctioneer for today's auction of Master Paintings and Sculpture, part one. We also welcome our online bidders. Your bids will be appearing on the screens in the front and all around. Before we begin, a few housekeeping announcements. As noted in our conditions of business for buyers, everything is sold under the authenticity guarantee and on an as-is basis. Buyer's premium and overhead premium will be added to the hammer price of each lot offered, and applicable sales tax will be due on the aggregate of the three figures as part of the total purchase price payable, unless you are exempt from these by law. And please refer to our conditions of business for our full terms of sale. After the sale, property can be collected by appointment only through post-sale services. Please contact post-sale services to arrange for payment and property release. For those who are intending to bid, which I know is all of you in the audience here today, please refer to the online sale catalog for further information on lots with guarantees and irrevocable bids. Lastly, lots 333, 337, 340, and 345 have been withdrawn prior to the sale. And with all of that, we can begin today's proceedings with lot 301, which is by Narda Dicione. Beautiful showing here. Very happy to show you our works here on offer today. There they are. Two beautiful works, the Madonna Annunciate and Archangel Gabriel, temper on panel, opening today's auction with lot 301, and I can begin here at 480,000, 480,000 now, 500,000, at 500,000, $550,000 already, $600,000 already bid with Eduardo, at $600,000, it's on my left with Eduardo Roberti at six, at 600,000 now, any more? at $600,000, 650, George Wachter, you're in, at $650,000, George, I have you, selling now, at $650,000, any more? I'll take 680 from you, Eduardo, $680,000 is the bid, at $680,000, $700,000, back to you, George, now, at $700,000, any more, Eduardo, I'll take 20, at $700,000, George, it's yours first, at $700,000, 720, I took it. At $720,000. Yes, I'll take that. $750,000. George. All on my left now. George, George. At $750,000. Eduardo. Would you like seven eighty, dollars sir? At $780,000. For these gorgeous panels here. At $780,000. $800,000. Thought you might, George. At $800,000. Now it's yours. At eight hundred. dollars Eduardo. A moment to think at 800, all through. George, it's yours now and selling at $800,000. I offer 850 to anyone else in the room, but I am selling to you, George, at $800,000. I'll say fair warning first at $800,000. Sold to you, George, for 800. And your paddle number, sir. 53, thank you, Eliza. Very good. A 302 is by Carlo Crivelli, apostle holding a book. Good morning. And I can open us here if I may, showing here at $600,000, at $600,000, $600,000, $650,000 now, at $650,000, at $650,000, coming in now, $700,000, $750,000, a new place, $750,000, it's yours, Eduardo, at $750,000. I have it now at $750,000. Yours, but for the moment, Eduardo Roberti at 750, $800,000, a new place still. George, it's yours at 800. Any more now? Who would like 850? It's yours, GW, at 800. 850, please. Thank you. Yours, Eddie, at $850,000. All here on my left at 850 now. 900. 900, before you, Chris, at 900,000. At 900,000, in a few places, at 900,000. George first, at 900. 950, Eduardo, at 950, one million dollars even. There's the bid. It's yours now. Christopher is in at one million dollars, closest to me. Say one one, George, at one million dollars. One million one. There it is at one million one hundred thousand dollars. George, you have it now. Christopher, how about one two? At one million one hundred thousand. One million two. Barely need a microphone. You're so close. One million two. Thank you so much. One million two hundred thousand dollars, Chris. It's yours. At one million two now. 
I have 1,200,000. Christopher, it's yours. George, is hanging up the phone a, a symbol? Okay, I think that's a sign. 1,200,000. Eduardo, you're out. Christopher, it's with you. Selling now at $1,200,000. Fair warning then, at one, two. Chris, one, two. Paddle 79, thank you all very much indeed. Lot 70, lot 303 is by the Master of the Judgment of Paris. Madonna and Child with Saints. Showing here. And I can begin here at $150,000. 150, 160 now. 160, 170,000 dollars. 170,000 here. At $170,000 there. At $170,000 dollars. Any more now at 170,000, 180,000. At 180,000 now. At 180,000, coming in now at 180,000 dollars. At 180,000 dollars, 190,000. At 190,000. At 190,000 dollars. Any advance now at 190,000 dollars. At $190,000. I'll say fair warning then, at $190,000. Any more? At $190,000. Hammers up now at $190,000. Pass at $190,000. Lot 304 is here. First work in today's sale, property from the collection of Jacques Outsticker. Beautiful Cassone panel by Skedja. Showing here. And I can open at four hundred thousand dollars only. Four hundred thousand at four hundred thousand. Four hundred twenty thousand now. At four hundred twenty thousand dollars. At four hundred twenty now. At four hundred twenty thousand dollars. Four fifty. Thank you, George. At four hundred fifty. Four hundred eighty thousand. Four hundred eighty thousand now. Five hundred thousand dollars. George, back to you at five hundred thousand. At five hundred thousand. It's on my left now and selling at five hundred thousand. Any more now at five hundred? It's yours, George. At five hundred thousand dollars, I can sell at five hundred thousand. At $500,000 then, George, I have it with you, selling, but for the moment, at $500,000. Any more now, at $500,000. At $500,000 then, I'll say fair warning, just a moment, with you, George, at $500,000. Where are we? Five fifty dollars in a new place. Thank you so much. I have it in the room. At $550,000. I've got you now. At $550,000. George, say six. At 550,000. At 550,000. Selling here in New York. At my left. It's 550 ahead of you. It's in the room, not with you, at 550. Uh, if he says, or he or she says 570, who am I to refuse? 570. I'll take 600, though. It's at 570. At 570 now. I'll take 600. Thank you. 600 is the bid in the room at 600. At $600,000. Seated here in the room. 20. At 620,000. All through. Thank you so much. At 620,000 now. Still with you, George. And selling at 620,000. I offer 650 to the room, but I have 620 with you, George. I'll say fair warning first. Hammers up then at 620,000. Where are we? 650. Thank you. Thought you might. At 650,000 for this incredible object, 650, determined at 650 now. George, like 80? At 650 then. Okay, it's in the room, selling now. Thank you so much. That might have done it. At $650,000, hammers up at 650. Sold at 650 to paddle 629. Thank you very much indeed. Lot 305, showing here in all its height, is by the master of the Agalothus altar. Good pronunciation, Liz. Thank you. It's oil on panel. Please refer to our online catalog for the corrected literature for this lot, an incredible early Antwerp panel. And I can open us here at $220,000. At 220 now. At 220. 240,000. At $240,000 here. At two hundred forty thousand dollars now, and he advanced at two hundred forty, two hundred sixty thousand, at two hundred six, two hundred eighty thousand here. Now ahead of you all, three hundred thousand with George, at three hundred thousand dollars. I have it here first with you, George, at three hundred thousand dollars. All on my left, three twenty. Chloe Stead, at three hundred twenty thousand, three fifty. Back to you, George, at three hundred fifty thousand with you now, at three fifty. 
380, Chloe, at 380, 400, back to you, George, at 400,000 now. Any more at 400,000, 420, Chloe Rose at 420,000, 450. 450, George Charles at 450, at 450 now. Any more, Chloe? Now yours at 480, at 480,000. Yours, sir, at $500,000. There's the bid. George has it now at 500. Say 550, please, Chloe. At 500, 550, it's yours. At 550. 575, we'll split it at 575 now. Next bid will be six. At 575, 600,000 in a new place. I have it in the room. At 600,000, it's new now. 650, thank you, it's yours. At 650, say seven, please. 700,000, I have it in the room still. At 700,000 now. At $700,000. 750 would be next. I have it here seated in New York at $700,000. 750, thank you, Chloe. At 750 now, it's yours. A couple places still, 800,000. At $800,000, gentlemen's bid seated at 800,000. At $800,000 then, for this incredibly rare panel, at $800,000. I have it in New York selling at 800. 850, smart choice. At 850,000, 900,000, confident, at 900,000 dollars. At 900,000, all through, thank you, very clear. Gentleman still has it then, at 900,000 dollars. I open it to the rest of the room and online. Seated now, selling here in New York, at 900,000 US dollars. I'll say fair warning first, at 900,000 dollars. Sold to you for 900,000 to paddle 622. Thank you very much indeed. Off 306. Swabian School, circa 1480, 1490. This is a gorgeous double sided panel, it's St. Ursula. And I can open us here. We do have some updated provenance literature for your reading enjoyment. This is lot 306. Allow me to open us here with some interest at 130, 40, 50 now. $150,000 already bid at $150,000 here in my book. Actually, a paper book this time. $150,000. Selling now here at 150. 160 now. George had it first, Chris, I'm afraid. 160,000. Would you like 170? 170 is online ahead of all of you. 180. Back to you, George. At 180,000. Yours, George, at 180,000. 190 now. Chris, you're in. 200,000. George, at 200 now. At $200,000. 220. Chris, I have you. 240. 240. Thank you, sir. At $240,000. George, it's yours. At 240. Say 260, please. Pretty, please. At 240,000. At 240. Thank you so much. 260. It's yours now, Chris. At 260,000. Multitasking, George, <laughs> at $280,000. <laughs> Tell them you're busy. At $280,000. It's yours, George, at two eighty. Three hundred thousand. $300,000. Thank you. At $300,000. Back to Chris, at three hundred. dollars Yes. $320,000. It's yours. At $320,000. At three hundred and twenty. dollars Are we all through? George, you have it now at three twenty. dollars Any more now? At $320,000. $1,000, George, quite the multitasker, selling to you now at $320,000, any more than at $320,000. Sold for $320,000. Paddle 8-1. Paddle 8-1. A 3.07. It's attributed to Quentin Metzis and the Elder and Workshop. Lamentation. Here it is, showing. And I can open us here at two hundred thousand dollars. At two hundred thousand now. At two hundred thousand dollars. Any more now? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred twenty thousand. At two hundred twenty thousand dollars. At two hundred twenty thousand dollars. At two hundred twenty thousand dollars. Any advance here at two hundred and twenty thousand. Two hundred forty thousand. Two hundred forty thousand dollars. At two hundred forty thousand now. At two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Coming in now. Two hundred forty thousand. 
at 240, 260,000, 260,000 at 260,000 dollars. Any more now? At 260,000 at 260. Thousand dollars. Any advance now at two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. I'll say fair warning, unless there's any advance at two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Next day would be two eighty, but I have it two sixty now. I'll say fair warning at two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Past two sixty, which brings us to lot three hundred eight. Honored to have some beautiful sculpture here in this morning's session. Well, 308 is by Antonio Di Bardi Giovanni Minello, beautiful Venetian work from the 1520s, showing there. And I open us at $90,000, 90,000 now, 95,000, $95,000 here. At $95,000, any advance here, at $95,000, $100,000, $100,000 now. At $100,000, any advance at $100,000, at $100,000 then, any more at $100,000. I'll say fair warning, unless there's any advance here, at $100,000, last chance then, at $100,000. Pass at $100,000. That was 308. 309 is by El Greco, the Martinum of St. Lawrence. Fascinating early rediscovered work showing here. At $320,000, we'll start us here for the El Greco. $320,000. At $320,000 now. At $320,000. $350,000. At $350,000. It's ahead of you online now. $380,000. At $400,000. With you, George. At $400,000. It's on my left. Online. Say four twenty. dollars At $400,000. I have it selling here. $420,000 to the online bidder. At four hundred and twenty. Four fifty. dollars It's yours, George. At $450,000. On my left, and selling at $450,000. Online, say 480, please. I have it with you, George, at 450. At $450,000 then. Any more at 450,000. George, I'll say fair warning. You have it before the moment at $450,000. Selling here on my left at 450,000. Sold to you, George, for 450. Thank you. Paddle four six. A three hundred and ten is by Francesco de Herrera the Younger, David with the head of Goliath. Showing here. I open us at thirty thousand dollars only here. At thirty thousand dollars now. At thirty thousand. Thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand. At thirty two thousand. Thank you so much. Thirty two thousand now. Thirty five thousand dollars here. At thirty-five thousand dollars, any advance now? At thirty-five thousand dollars, at thirty-five thousand dollars, any more? Thirty-eight thousand dollars online, at thirty-eight thousand dollars, selling now online at thirty-eight thousand dollars, any more now online? You have it selling here at thirty-eight thousand dollars. Last chance then, selling to you our online bidder at thirty-eight thousand. Sold to you online for thirty-eight thousand. That's paddle number seventeen. Congratulations. 311 is by Murillo, Holy Family with the young St. John the Baptist. Showing here, and $300,000 starts us. 300 now, at $300,000. At $300,000, coming in now at 300,000. At 300,000, 320. At $320,000. At $320,000, any advance here, at 320,000. At $320,000, any more now, at $320,000. At $320,000, I'll say fair warning, any more now, at $320,000. Unsold at 320. dollars That was 311. dollars 312 is next. Beautiful work on copper by Daniel Sayers. Beautiful there, signed work. And $200,000 starts us. 200,000 only here, at $200,000. At $200,000 now, thank you so much. At 200,000, at 200,000 now, you're coming in at 200,000, just like you bid Ben, 200,000, okay. At 200,000, 220,000 now. At 220,000 dollars, any advance here, at 220,000 dollars. At 220,000 dollars, any more now, at 220,000 dollars. At 220,000 dollars. Any more now at $220,000. I'll say fair warning, unless there's any advance 
at $220,000. Hammer's up now at $220,000. Pass it to 20. That was 312, 313, size Bert. Beautiful still life with cherries. And for this fabulous still life here, I open at $100,000 only, at 100,000, 110 now, at 110, 120 now, at $120,000, at 120,000 here, at $120,000. Coming in now, 120, 130,000, George Gordon, good to see you. At 130,000, 140, I have ahead of you. At $140,000, say 150, you will. At 150,000, George Gordon, here he is at $150,000. Selling now to you, George, at 150,000. At $150,000. George, I'm selling to you at $150,000. Unless there's any advance from the room or online, George, you have it at $150,000. Sold to you, George, for 150. That'll 63. Jakob Duck has entered, has entered the chat. Jakob Duck, Slot 314, and I can open us here for this guard room interior at $50,000, at $50,000 now, $55,000, at $50,000, $55,000, $55,000 now, thank you so much, at $55,000, you're coming in now at $55,000, at $55,000, $60,000, at $60,000. At sixty thousand now, an advance here at sixty thousand dollars, sixty-five thousand, at sixty-five thousand dollars. Any more now at sixty-five, at sixty-five thousand dollars. Any advance here at sixty-five thousand dollars. Any more now at sixty-five thousand dollars. I'll say fair warning at sixty-five thousand, seventy thousand dollars online, at seventy thousand dollars online. Welcome in yours now at seventy, at seventy thousand dollars. I can sell to you online and I will at seventy thousand dollars. I'll say fair warning at seventy thousand dollars. Online you have it for seventy thousand. And that was paddle seventeen. A three fifteen. The large candle lit, flame lit church interior by Anthony Delorme. Opening here at eighty five thousand dollars. At eighty five now. At eighty five thousand dollars now. At eighty five thousand dollars. 90,000 now, at 90,000, in advance here at $90,000. At $90,000, in advance now at 90,000, and five. At $95,000, at $95,000, so we'd like 100. At $95,000 here, at $95,000, in advance at $95,000, $100,000 in the room, I see you, sir. At $100,000, I have it selling now at 100,000, in advance. At $100,000, I can sell. And I will, at $100,000, I'll say fair warning first, at $100,000. Sold to you for $100,000 to paddle 623. That was 315. 316 is here. This is Sir Peter Paul Rubens' self-portrait of the artist as a young man. Fabulously rediscovered work, here it is. And I can open us here at one million nine hundred thousand dollars at one million nine at one million nine now at one million nine hundred thousand dollars any advance here at one million nine two million dollars at two million dollars now at two million dollars coming in now at two million dollars at two million two 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 million two hundred thousand dollars at two million two hundred thousand dollars now any advance at two million two at two million two hundred thousand more now two million two hundred thousand at two million two and four Two million four hundred thousand dollars. At two million four hundred thousand dollars. At two million four hundred thousand dollars now. Any advance at two million four hundred thousand dollars here. At two million four hundred thousand now. Any more? At two million four hundred thousand dollars. I say fair warning, unless there's any advance now. At two million four hundred thousand dollars. Hammers up then at two million four hundred thousand dollars. And sold at two million four hundred. That was three one six. We move swiftly along to Sir Anthony Van Dyke self portrait. Three one seven, indeed. Thank you very much, George. Good teamwork. 
317. This is Anthony Van Dyke, self-portrait with an upturned mustache, raised left hand. Fabulous work. Please note, for those who didn't notice in the exhibition, that the present work is included in the Royal Collection Trust's long collect lost collection of Charles I. It's on their online data database, where it's identified as the painting included in Abraham van der Dort's 1639 inventory of the King's collection. A fascinating bit of information for a fascinating picture. And with all of that, I can begin at $1,700,000. At $1,700,000. At $1,700,000 now. $1,800,000. And $1,800,000 and one million eight here. At $1,800,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $1,900,000. $
230. At 230,000. Back to you, Claude. At 230,000. 240. In two places, still. At 240,000. 250. There we are. We made it. At 250,000. Two places still. 260. $260,000. Chloe, it's yours at $260,000. $270,000. At $270,000. $280,000. At $280,000. Still two places. $290,000, Claude. At $290,000. To you, Claude. $300,000. Still two places. Thank you so much. At $300,000. Chloe first. At $300,000. $310,000. Three hundred ten thousand. Three twenty. Three hundred twenty now. Three thirty. At three hundred thirty thousand. At three hundred thirty thousand dollars, Claude, it's yours. At three hundred and thirty thousand now. Any more? At three hundred and thirty. At three hundred and thirty, Chloe. One more. At three hundred and thirty. Thought you might. Thank you so much. At three hundred and forty thousand. At three hundred and forty thousand. Claude, it's yours. Three fifty now. Thank you. At three hundred and fifty thousand. At three hundred and fifty. All through, Chloe. At three hundred and fifty. Not with you. With Claude, selling now. At three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I open it to the room. Last chance. Selling to you, Claude, at $350,000. Hammers up then at $350,000. $350, Claude, thank you. Sixty-four. thank you very much, sir. Thank you both. Thomas Gainsborough is next. Portrait of John Hobart, second, second Earl of Buckinghamshire. Julian, thank you. To the tutelage there. About 321. Showing here. And I open with some interest at seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five thousand dollars already. At eighty-five thousand dollars bid. At eighty-five thousand dollars then. Here with me. At eighty-five thousand dollars here. At eighty-five thousand dollars. Any advance at eighty-five thousand dollars. And I can sell at eighty-five thousand dollars. At eighty-five thousand dollars then. Any more at eighty-five. Ninety thousand dollars. Thank you very much, Lex. I have ninety-five. Ninety-five, still here in my book at ninety-five thousand dollars. 100, 110 here, just ahead of you, at 110,000. At 110,000 now, I have it. 120, 130, here with me, at $130,000, just ahead of you, Alexis, at 130,000. 140, $150,000, still here in my book, pre-registered at 150,000. 160, 170,000 now, at $170,000, just ahead of you, at 170,000, say 180. 180,000, now it's yours at 180,000. There it is, selling on my left at 180,000. I'm through, it's yours. Would anyone else like to bid? At 180,000. Selling to you, Alexis, at 180. 190,000, new place. Julian Gascoigne, waiting in the wings. At 190,000, 200,000. At 200,000, it's yours. At 200, 220, sir, thank you. At 220. <coughs> to 40. 240,000. At 240,000. Alexis has it at 240 now. All through. Julian, thank you so much. It's yours, Alexis. Selling now at $240,000. I'll say fair warning then. Yours, Alexis. Last chance at 240000 Sold to you for 240000 Thank you. 25. 322 is by Johann Liss, Nymph and Shepherd. Please see some updated provenance and cataloging for this work. Showing here, unframed. And I can open this here at 130, 40, 150,000 dollars bid at 150,000 dollars. Here with me now at 150,000 dollars. Selling them at 150,000 dollars in my book at 150,000. Thousand now, an advance at one hundred and fifty thousand. 
at $150,000, $160,000, a new place online. Thank you, online. You have it now at $160,000, selling to our online bidder at $160,000. Any more now at $160,000, $170,000, two online bidders at $170,000. Online has it at $170,000 at $170,000. Doodling online bids at $170,000. Any more? At $170,000. At $170,000. Any more now? Selling then to one of our online bidders at $170,000. I'll say fair warning, last chance online, last chance in the room at $170,000. Sold for $170,000. That's the paddle 21. Very good. On 323, Solomon Van Rousdown. Gorgeous shipping scene. Signed and dated 1659. Ex-British Royal Pension Fund, incredible provenance, incredible condition. And I open us here at 1,300,000. At 1,300,000. At 1,300,000. 1,400,000 at 1, now. At 1,400,000 here. At 1,400,000. 1,500,000. At one million five hundred thousand dollars, one million six hundred thousand dollars. Alex Bell, it's yours now. One million six hundred thousand. Thank you so much. It's yours at one million six hundred thousand. At one million six hundred thousand, then Alex, you have it at one million six. One seven is next. I have it selling to you, sir. At one million six hundred thousand dollars in advance. At one million six hundred thousand. At one million six hundred thousand, then selling to you, sir. At one million six hundred thousand. Any more? at $1,600,000. I'll say fair warning then with you, sir, at $1,600,000. Alex, you've got it at one six. Paddle 67, thank you so much. A 324. Adam Villarts, Dutch ships. Beautiful, signed and dated once more. And I can open us here at 160,000, 170,000, 170,000 now. At 170,000 dollars. At 170, now, 180,000. 180,000. At 180,000, 190,000 now. 190,000 dollars. At 190,000 here. 200,000, I had it here first, I'm so sorry. Say 220, 220, it's yours, sir. At 220,000 dollars. It's in the room now, 220. At 220,000, it's in the room. 230, because it's his 50th anniversary, I'll accept it. At 230,000, 240, of course. At 240 now. At 240,000. 250, 260. At 260,000, gentlemen's bid. At 260,000. At 260,000, thank you, George, all through. I have it here in the room, selling at 260,000. Any advance then at $260,000. I'll say fair warning first. Selling here now at $260,000. Hammers up at $260,000. Yours, sir, for $260,641. Thank you both. A 325 by Peter Coda, elegant company of musicians. Beautiful showing here. And I can open this here $40,000 now, at $40,000 only, at $40,000, $42,000 now, at $42,000, at $42,000 now, $45,000, $45,000, at $45,000 here, $48,000, at $48,000, at $48,000 for the card, at $48,000 now, in advance, at $48,000, at $48,000, any more now, at $48,000, at $48,000, any more, at $48,000. $1,000 here. At $48,000, I'll say fair warning, at $48,000. Last chance then, at $48,000. Unsold at $48,000. That was 325. 326 is by Peter Kloss. Work from 1635, large panel showing here. And $200,000 starts us. 200 here for the class. At 200,000, 220,000. At 220,000 dollars. 
at 220 net, coming in at 220,000. At 220 net, 240,000. At 240,000 dollars. At 240,000 dollars here. At 200, 260. At 260 now, just ahead of you, Chris. At 260,000 dollars. At 260,000 dollars. At 260,000 dollars here. At 260,000 dollars now. Any advance at 260,000 dollars. At two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Any more now? At two hundred and sixty thousand. At two hundred and sixty thousand. I'll say fair warning then. Last chance at two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Pass at two sixty. That was three two six. Three two seven is here. Balthazar van der Ast, please refer to the online catalog for any updated information on provenance and publication history. There clearly is some. This is by Van der Ast, Lot 327, and $120,000 starts us. At $120,000 now. At $120,000. $120,000. $130,000. $130,000 here. At $130,000 now. $140,000. At $140,000. At $140,000. Any advance here at $140,000. At $140,000 now. Any more? At $140,000. At $140,000. I'll say fair warning at $140,000. Hammers up then at 140. Pass at 140. That was 327. 328. Scipione Polzone. Featured image from Masters Week this week. There she is behind me, very much featured. This is by Polzone. Portrait of a young noble, noble woman, possibly identified as Lavinia de la Rovere. I will open this here with some interest at 170, 180, 190, 200 thousand dollars already. At 200 thousand dollars here with me. At 200 thousand, bid in my book at 200 thousand dollars. 220, 240 now. At 240 thousand dollars, ahead of you all. At 240 thousand. At 240 thousand. 260 thousand. 280 thousand. At 280 thousand. 280,000. Any more now at 280,000. Here with me still at 280,000. $300,000. At $300,000 now with you, Calvin, at 300,000. Any advance here at 300,000. At $300,000. It's yours, Calvin, at 300,000. At $300,000 now. Any more at 300,000. Selling to you, Calvin, at $300,000. At three hundred thousand dollars, any more now? At three hundred thousand. It's yours, Calvin. But for the moment, at three hundred thousand. At three hundred thousand hmm? dollars. At three hundred thousand dollars. It's yours, Calvin. At three hundred thousand. Any more now? At three hundred thousand. At three hundred thousand dollars. Then three hundred twenty thousand. Ahead of you, Calvin. At three hundred twenty thousand dollars. At three hundred twenty thousand. In my book now at 320,000. Any advance at 320,000. At 320, still here with me, in my better at 320,000. At 320, thank you so much, Calvin. Any advance now, selling here in the book at $320,000. I'll say fair warning then, selling here. It's my absentee bidder at $320,000. Last chance at 320,000. All through then. Thank you so much, Calvin. Selling now at 320. To paddle 71. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lot 329 is by Andrea Boscoli. Wonderful mannerist work showing there. For Lot 329, allow me to begin at $65,000. At 65,000. At 65,000. 70,000. 70,000 now. At $70,000 here. At $70,000. You're coming in now at $70,000, $75,000. $75,000 here. At $75,000. $80,000. George, it's yours at $80,000. George has it now at $80,000. Any advance here at $80,000? At $80,000 then. Selling to you, George, on your telephone at $80,000. Any advance at $80,000? $85,000. Eduardo, yours, sir, at $85,000. At $85,000. Yours. George, would you like 90? You would. At 90,000. Thank you, George. 
at 90,000 now. Two places had $90,000. George first at 90,000. Eduardo, say 95. Please. At 90,000. Taking your time. That's fine. Just a room of friends at 90,000. You have it, George, at 90,000. Worth the wait. 95,000. It's yours. At $95,000. Eduardo, at 95. George, like 100. At $95,000. All through. Oh, see, see how quickly that turns sometimes? 100,000. At $100,000. George, you have it. Eduardo, please say 110. Okay. George, you have it now selling at $100,000. I'll say fair warning. Yours, George, at 100. Sold at 100,000. Paddle 50. On well, 330, property from South American private collection. It's a Neapolitan follower of Caravaggio, circa 1640. Showing here, I can open us at $60,000. At $60,000 now for this, $60,000 here. At $60,000, any advance, at $60,000, $65,000. At $65,000 now, at $65,000. Any advance, $65,000. At $65,000, you're coming in now at $65,000. At $65,000. $1,000 anymore at $65,000. I'll say fair warning at $65,000. Hammers up then at $65,000. Past $65,000. 330 is before 331 by Cesare Dandini. 331 here now. Showing here, and I open us at $55,000. 55 now. At $55,000. At $55,000 for the Dandini. At $55,000. $60,000 now. At $60,000 here. At $60,000. Any advance here at $60,000. $65,000. At $65,000. At $65,000. Any advance $65,000. At $65,000 now. Any more? At $65,000. At $65,000 then. I'll say fair warning. At $65,000. Hammers up. At $70,000. Thank you so much. $70,000. I have it in New York now at $70,000. At $70,000. Gentleman's bid at $70,000. Any advance here at $70,000. At $70,000 then, I'll say fair warning. Gentleman has it at $70,000. Paddle 612 for $70,000. A332, it's by Horatio Gentileschi and Workshop, Penitent Magdalene. Wow, just fit. Impressive. We have great art handlers here. $300,000 starts us. $300,000. At $300,000 now. At $300,000. $320,000. At $320,000. At $320,000 now. At $320,000. Coming in now. $320,000. $350,000. At $350,000. At $350,000. Any advance here at $350,000. Any more now? At $350,000. At $350,000, then I'll say fair warning, last chance at $350,000. Fair warning at $350,000. Pass at $350,000. That was $332,000. $333,000 has been withdrawn, so we moved to $350,000. Three fours by Nicolas Renier. And I open us for the loot player at 240,000 now. At 240. At 240,000. At 240 now. 260,000. 260,000 here. At 260,000 now. At 260,000 dollars. 280,000. At 280,000 dollars. At 280,000 dollars. Any advance now at 280,000. At $280,000. Any more now? At $280,000. I'll say fair warning. Unless there's any more. At $280,000. Hammers up at $280,000. Pass $280,000. 335. It's by Charles Antoine Coipel. Joseph Cuse by Potiphar's wife. Originally from the Hotel Lambert. Signed and dated, showing here. And I can open us 
at $300,000, at $300,000 now, at $300,000 now, at $300,000, any more now, at $300,000, at $300,000, $320,000, at $320,000, at $320,000, any more now, at $320,000, at $320,000 now, any more, at $320,000, I'll say fair warning, at $320,000, Hammers up at 320,000. Let's pass a 320. 336 is by Jean Jouvenet. Birth of Bacchus. And $170,000 starts us. $170,000 here at $170,000 here. At $180,000 now. At $180,000 here at $180,000, $190,000, just ahead of you, Daria, $190,000, it's not yours, at $190,000, would you like two hundred? dollars at $190,000, $200,000, now it's yours, thank you so much, Daria, at $200,000, I have it on my right, at $200,000, selling to you at $200,000, it's yours, at $200,000, any advance, two twenty. dollars new place, at $220,000, thank you so much, at two hundred twenty. dollars say two forty, dollars please, at 220 then, it's yours, sir, selling at $220,000. Any more at $220,000. Here in New York, selling now at $220,000. Take a moment to think, but I have it here, selling at $220,000. Thank you so much. Still yours, sir, at $220,000. Sold for 220, 612. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you both. 337. It's been withdrawn, so we move to 338. By Melendez. Beautiful, still life of artichokes. Not quite yet lunchtime, but soon, some motivation. And I can open us here at $1,300,000. At one million three, At one million three hundred thousand. One million four hundred thousand. One million four now. At one million four. At one million four hundred thousand, one million five, at one million five hundred thousand, at one million five hundred thousand, one million five fifty, at one million five hundred fifty thousand, at one million five hundred fifty thousand, one million six, one million six now, at one million six hundred thousand dollars here, one million six fifty, at one million six fifty, yours, George, at one million six fifty. What did I say? Oh, I'm so used to it. How rude. You are very different. Sometimes. Christopher, it's yours at 1650. At 1650, it's yours, Chris. Thank you so much. At 1650. He is my boss after all. At 1650000 dollars Yours, sir. At 1650000 dollars Any advance now at 1650000 dollars Selling to you, sir. At 1650000 dollars Any more now at 1650. Would you like a bid? At 1650000 dollars Selling to you, Chris, and not George, at 1650. 1650. 87. Oop. Okay. My handwriting's a bit sloppy. Well, 339. Ubaldo Gandolfi. Three nude studies. I think too many to show here, showing on your screens. I can open us at $40,000 now. $40,000, $42,000. At $42,000 now. At $42,000. At $42,000, $45,000. $45,000, $48,000 here, at $48,000 now, at $48,000 for the Gandolfi set, at $48,000, any more now, at $48,000, at $48,000, any more now, at $48,000, I'll say fair warning then, at $48,000, hammers up at $48,000, pass at $48,000, $50,000, I did see it with my Hammer, light moves faster than sound. So we're going to take that bid at $50,000 with thanks online. It's still yours at $50,000. Any advance at $50,000. Still yours online, but for the moment at $50,000. I'm selling to the online bidder at $50,000. Once again, fair warning, $55,000 in a new place. $55,000. I have it in the room now at $55,000. Online, it's ahead of you. At 55,000. At 55,000 now. 
It's in the room, selling now at $55,000. Online, one more click, not too late this time, at $55,000. I'm selling here in the room at $55,000. Fair warning, at $55,000. Sold at 55, thank you. Paddle 638. That was 339. 340 has been withdrawn. So it makes much sense to have the Zuccarelli here up in front of me, lot 341. For the Zuccarelli, lot 341, I can begin here at $75,000. At $75,000 now. At 75. At 75 now. Any more now? At $75,000. $80,000. At $80,000 then. At $80,000. Any advance at $80,000. $85,000. At $85,000. At $85,000. Any advance here at $85,000. At $85,000. Any more now? At $85,000. I'll say fair warning. At $85,000. Hammers up at $85,000. Pass at 85,000. A 342. Property from the collection of Christina and Marco Grassi by Thomas Patch. Beautiful view on the Arno in Florence. It's a bit wide. Where are we? Are we showing just outside the cell room, perhaps? Been well viewed this week. And for the patch, I can open us at 50, 55, $60,000 already bid. At $60,000, here with me now, selling at $60,000. At $60,000 here now in the book, $65,000. Thank you, Julian, in a new place. $65,000, Julian, you have it. At $65,000. At $65,000, any advance here at $65,000. At $65,000, selling to you, Julian. $70,000 in a new place, online. It's online now at $70,000. $75,000, thank you, Julian, it's yours. It's ahead of you online, at $75,000. At 75 now, Julian, you have it before the moment. At 75,000 online, back to you now at $80,000. Thank you. At 80,000. Jules, 85,000. Thanks. At 85,000. At 85,000. 90,000. It's online now at 90,000. Exactly. Thank you. At 90,000. Julian, 95. New place online. It's at 95 now. In a couple places. $95,000. Online bidder. I'll take it at $100,000. At $100,000, 110 online bidder. Perhaps bidding from Tuscany, who knows? At 110, $120,000. At 120, back to you, Julian. Very much in New York, at 130,000 online. At 130,000, online bidder, 140. Thank you, Jules. At 140 now. At 140,000. 150 now. Confident. Online bidding at 150,000. 160. Thank you. At 160,000. Julian, you have it. At 160. At $160,000. Online? If you'd like it. 170 is the bid. At $170,000. Online. All through. Julian? With thanks, online, you've taken it at $170,000. Any more, I'll say fair warning, online, selling now at $170,000. Sold for $170,000 to paddle number 28. Thank you very much. Thomas Gainsborough, landscape here. We have some updated exhibition history for the present lot. Showing here, beautiful feathery landscape by Gainsborough. And I could open us at $200,000 now. At $200,000. At $200,000. $220,000. $220, at $220,000 now. At $220,000 here. At $220,000 here. At $220,000. Any advance? $240,000 now. At $240,000. At $240,000. At $240,000. $260,000. Thank you. It's yours, Chris. Now at $260,000. At $260,000. Selling to you, Christopher, at $260,000. At $260,000. On my left with you, Chris, at $260,000. Any advance at $260,000. I can sell, and I will, to you, CTA, and not George, at $260,000. Selling now 
at 260,000. I'll say fair warning, yours, George, at 200, yours, at 260. I literally did it. <laughs> at 260, yours. Christopher Thomas Apostle, what is your bid? 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Four, four. thank you for your paddle number. <laughs> Great. Maybe you should switch. About 3-4-4, four, four, a guess. I'm a guest. Um, showing here, for the Bay Hunter and Gray Mayor and Landscape, a gas, $220,000 starts us at $220,000, at $220,000 now, at $220,000, $240,000, at $240,000, at $240,000. Now, in advance here, at $240,000, at $240,000, $260,000, at $260,000 here, at $260,000. In advance now, at $260,000. At two hundred and sixty thousand dollars, and eighty, two hundred and eighty thousand dollars, at two hundred and eighty thousand dollars, and advance at two eighty, at two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Any more now? At two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. I'll say fair warning. At two hundred and eighty thousand. Pass two eighty. A three forty five has been withdrawn. The Nabez. A three forty six is by Shinar. Beautiful terracotta bus of Marie Julie Clary showing here. Thank you. Wonderful. And I open us here at $120,000. At $120,000 here. At 120000 now. In advance at 120000 130000 Thank you, Ulrich. $140,000 just ahead of you now. At 140000 At $140,000. $150,000. Back to you now at $150,000. On my right, selling here at $150,000. It's on my right with you, Ulrika. Thank you so much at $150,000 anymore. At $150,000, selling on the telephone then at $150,000. Last chance then, selling here at $150,000. Hammers up at $150,000. Sold, $150,000. Paddle number 24. A 347 is by Jericho, portrait of Zoe Elmore. Showing here, I open us at $200,000. At $200,000 now. At $200,000. At $200,000. $220,000. $220,000. At $220,000 now. Any more now? At $220,000. At $220,000. $240,000. $240,000, any advance now, $240,000. At $240,000, any more now, at $240,000. Fair warning, at $240,000. It's sold at $240,000. A 348 by English follower of Canaletto. View of the Riva, looking west. Beautiful, and $100,000 opens us now at 100,000, at 100,000, 110,000, 110,000, at 110,000 dollars here, at 110,000, 120,000 now, 120,000, at 120,000 dollars, at 120,000 dollars, any more now, 120,000, at 120,000 dollars, any advance at 120,000 dollars, I have 120,000 dollars, I'll say fair warning, Unless there's any advance at $120,000, last chance at $120,000. Unsold at $120,000. A $349 by Pompeo Batoni is a portrait of Stephen Beckingham. Signed on the reverse, painted in Rome in 1752. Showing there, just beside me. I open us now for the Batoni at $100,000, at $100,000, $110,000, $110,000, at $110,000 now, at $110,000, $120,000, I have $120,000 ahead of you all, at $120,000 here first, at $120,000, it's ahead of you online, ahead of the room, at $120,000, $130,000, new place, it's in the room, at $130,000 now, in the room at $130,000, not with you sir, further back, $140,000 is yours. I have it in the room at $140,000, gentlemen's bid, at $140,000, $150,000 further back, so sorry, 
$150,000 for the bet, $160,000 still in the room. Two places, $270,000 at $160,000 in the room. Thank you, not an online bid. $170,000 back to Chloe at $170,000. $180,000, gentleman's bid, closer to me at $180,000 now. $190,000 further back at $190,000. $200,000 closer to me now in the room still at $200,000. To 10, I will take. I had 210. 220 is yours now. At 220. At 220, it's Chloe's bid. 30 is yours. At 230. 240, further back now. We can do sort of a, around, the, around the world. 230,000, thank you. 240, thank you, Chloe. At 240,000. 250. At 250,000 now. 260. At 260. 270. At 270,000, thank you. At 270,000, $280,000. Chloe's bid at 280,000. At 280,000, $290,000, still here in the room. At 290,000, 300,000. At 300,000, Chloe, you have it now. At 300,000. Any more now? At 300,000. Selling to you, Chloe Stead, at $300,000. Any more? Quick call? That's all right. At 300,000, thank you for your patience. At $300,000. At $300,000. With you, Chloe, but for the moment, at $300,000. Any more? At $300,000. All through, then yours, Chloe, fair warning, at $300,000. Thank you, Chloe, 300,000 is yours. Paddle 62. Thank you all very much. Paddle 350, lot 350 rather. Sebastiano Ricci. Bacchanal in honor of Pan Feast Silenus. That'll be us in a couple days. And for the Ricci's, allow me to open at $200,000 only. At 200,000, 220,000 now. At 220,000 dollars. At two hundred twenty thousand, two hundred forty thousand dollars here. At two hundred forty thousand dollars. At two hundred forty thousand dollars. Next two sixty is next. At two hundred forty here. At two hundred forty thousand dollars. Any advance? At two hundred forty thousand. Two hundred sixty thousand dollars in the room. At two hundred sixty thousand dollars. Thank you so much. At two hundred sixty thousand dollars. I have it selling at two hundred sixty thousand dollars. Any more? At two hundred sixty thousand. At two hundred sixty thousand dollars here in New York. At two hundred sixty. $280,000. Thank you so much. It's on the phone now at $280,000. At $280,000, $300,000. At $300,000. It's ahead of you, Chris, now. At $300,000. $320,000. At $320,000 on the phone. $350,000. At $350,000 now. I have it in New York. Ahead of you, Chris. At $350,000. $380,000. Thank you. $400,000. At 400,000, gentlemen's bid at 400,000 now. 420,000. At 420,000 dollars. There it is, yours, Chris, at 420 now. 450, thank you. At 450,000 dollars. At 450 now. 480,000 dollars. Back to you, Christopher. 500,000 dollars, confident. At 500,000. At five hundred thousand dollars, gentleman's bid at five hundred. At five hundred thousand. Indeed, I'll say five twenty. Thank you. Five hundred twenty thousand. Five fifty. Five hundred fifty thousand dollars. There's the bid. Still here in New York at five fifty. At five hundred and fifty thousand dollars now. At five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, I have it here in New York, standing at five hundred fifty. Can we say seventy? Five hundred and fifty thousand. Just ten more. At five hundred and fifty thousand dollars now. At five hundred fifty thousand. That's fine. Thank you so much, gentlemen's bid now at five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, standing here at five hundred and fifty thousand. Last chance then, selling at five hundred and fifty. Sold for 550. Thank you to paddle 612. This brings us to lot 351 by Francesco Zugno. 
certainly too large for the turnstile. It's the reunion of Anthony and Cleopatra in Alexandria. And I open this here now at $55,000. 55 now, at 55,000, 60,000, $60,000 here, at 60,000, $65,000, at $65,000. Any advance here at 65,000, at $65,000. Any advance at 65,000. At $65,000. Any more now? At $65,000. At $65,000 for the Zunio. I'll say fair warning. Any more now? At $65,000. Past 65. Pardon me. Okay. A 352 is the penultimate lot in this morning's session by Francois-André Vincent. Signed and dated, beautiful picture, 1774, showing here. Can I actually take that from you? Thank you so much. And I will start the bidding at $320,000, at 320 now, at $320,000, here now, at 320, at 320,000, at 320. At 320,000, 350 now. At 350,000. At 350,000 dollars now. At 350,000 dollars. Coming in now, 350, 380,000. At 380,000 dollars. At 380,000 dollars. At 380,000 dollars now. 400 is next. At 380,000 dollars. Any advance at 380,000 dollars. At 380,000 dollars. Any more now? At 380. $400,000 in the room at $400,000 now. I have it seated at $400,000. At $400,000 now. Any more at $400,000. I can sell at $400,000 now. I'll say fair warning unless there's any advance selling here in the room at $400,000. Hammers up at $400,000. Sold to you for $400,000 to paddle 632. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 353s by Gustav Bauernfein. Final lot in this morning's sale. It's the Western Wall. Showing around the corner very beautifully. Thank you, Benjamin. For the Bauernfein. I can open this here now at $1,600,000. At $1,600,000 now. At $1,600,000. $1,700,000 now. $1,700,000 now. $1,800,000 now. At one, one eight, thank you, Benjamin. At one million eight hundred thousand now. At one million eight, one million nine now, ahead of you. At one million nine hundred thousand dollars, two million dollars. Ben is with you at two million dollars. At two million dollars, Benjamin Dollar, it's yours now. At two million dollars, any minutes. Two million one hundred thousand dollars, Simon, I'll take that. At two million one hundred thousand. At two million one hundred thousand. It's ahead of you, Ben. It's with Simon Shaw at two million one hundred thousand. At two million one hundred thousand now. Simon, it's yours at two million one. At two million one hundred thousand dollars. Simon, you have it now at two million one hundred thousand dollars. Two million two in a new place. Chris, it's yours at two million two. Three places at two million two hundred thousand dollars. Three, two million two. Two million three, not three million. At two million three hundred thousand. Two million four. At two million four hundred thousand. At two million four hundred thousand, Christopher, it's yours. At two million four, Christopher, it's yours now. At two million four hundred thousand, who would like to five? Simon would. Thank you so much, Simon. It's yours now. At two million five hundred thousand dollars, two million six, swiftly with you, Chris. At two million six hundred thousand, at two million six hundred thousand dollars, Christopher, it's yours now. At two million six, Simon, would you like to seven? At two million six hundred thousand. At two million six hundred thousand. Still with you, Chris. Selling at two million six. At two million six hundred thousand now. Christopher, I can sell to you. Any more? At two million six hundred thousand. Two million seven. Thank you. Your assignment at two million seven. Two million eight. Christopher. At two million eight hundred thousand. Back to you, Chris. Now selling at two million eight hundred thousand dollars. 
at 2 million eight. So with you, Chris, selling now at 2 million 800,000. Any more, Simon? At 2 million eight. At 2 million 800,000 then, I'll say fair warning, selling to you, Christopher, at 2 million 800,000. Benjamin, are we waiting in the wings? Observing, but for the moment, Christopher, it's yours at two million eight hundred thousand dollars. Fair warning, then, it's yours, Chris. Ben, no. Simon, no. Yours, Chris, at two million eight hundred thousand dollars. Sold to you, Chris, for two eight. Congratulations, and your paddle number. Thirty six. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much. We'll see you this afternoon. We'd also, of course, like to thank Qatar Executive for being our wonderful sponsors, and we'll see you this afternoon for our next session. Take care.